Hello and welcome to this third video in the series of uh, using or of uh, uh, using Excel as a tool for admin use. Um, in the previous sessions, uh, we have uh, prepared this small scheme for task management and the tasks that were or the the things that we're going to go through in this uh, uh, part is part three of the series of, of these Excel videos is to generate an, a drop down list for the column category, for the column responsible, and for the column status. But to do this, we're not going to get, going to um, create the drop down list here. We need to have a place where we get the information that, or the content of the drop down list from. To do that, we will need to add an additional sheet down here. We do that by clicking on the plus. Uh, we will call this, because now we have uh, more than one sheet, we'll start naming the sheets. And this sheet will be called uh, drop down list. And then when starting up here, uh, knowing where we are, I like to have a deadline or a headline. Like this. And then we need to have the columns that we know from the other sheet over here reflected in. So uh, this column right here, category, the column responsible, and the column uh, status. So let's just uh, mark them up, uh, copy them, and then go over here and paste them. So now we have the different um, categories or uh, column names, if you might. Um, then after doing this, uh, we need to have uh, something inside it. What should the content be? Of course, the categories, the different categories for different tasks that we use in our task manager uh, sheet. So one category could be innovation. Another could be marketing. Third one could be economy. Then we could have one called HR. And we could have one called strategy. Um, under responsible, the, this is uh, the names of the responsible team members or the team members that could be responsible for different kind of tasks. So let's just uh, name one Dave, another one Peter. Uh, then we can have Diana. And we could have Anne. And then the status is the status of the different tasks that are there. Uh, a task could be identified, um, which means that we've identified that there is a task here, but we haven't started working on it yet. And it, of course, isn't completed yet. So the next one is when we have identified it and we've started doing something about it. Uh, that means that the task is actually in progress. Um, or in process, uh, let's do that, process. Yeah, and then when the task is no longer in process, it's been completed, like this. So now we have the different uh, things that we need that should be the content of our, um, uh, of our sheet here. Then I'd like to make it visible to know where does my sheet start and stop uh, if I want to change something to this. So it needs to be manageable for me to do to edit in it. To do that, I'll uh, put some uh, grid lines around it. Right here, I can uh, right click and do it uh, there. I can also go up here, all borders like this. And then I want it to be more visible because I have all the grid lines that makes it a little bit confusing to look at. I go to view up here and I delete the grid lines. Then my headline should be a little balded and a little bit bigger. I like that way, simply therefore. Um, so now I have the content for my drop down list. The reason why I have this empty space here is that that allows me to edit it. It allows me always to add an additional cell or additional row in my in my uh, in my column. Um, if I stand here for instance and I want or maybe I, I get another team member and I want that one to come in but I don't, don't want to just insert an entire row uh, because that would violate my category uh, line over here. I just want one in here. I can put my cursor here, I right click on it, I put insert, and I choose to shift cells down. 
pick OK, then uh, you can see there's one added here. And it didn't do anything over here. I could also add one here in the middle. Say I want one here up uh, above Peter, like this. So I'll just go back a little bit. So now I have the content. The next part is that I need to have this content implemented in the other sheet over here, in my task manager sheet. Um, and I want to be able to choose from the list when I'm standing in category or in responsible or in status. So what I do is I mark the part of my, uh, in my in my scheme here, I mark the category column where I want to be able to use or to choose from, from the list, from the drop down list. Then I go to data up here. After this, I go over here to data validation. There's a, a small icon here and sometimes the only thing you see in your, it depends on your setup and your um, Excel. Sometimes you only see the icon. Sometimes you see the text as well. Uh, you even have more options here. Um, but uh, I want to click on data validation. When you click on this one, you get something looking like this. If you have a Mac computer, it may look a little bit different, but the principles are the same. So the default setting is any value, but I don't want any value to be allowed in this cell or in the cells that I just marked. I only I want to be able to choose from a list. So I choose list here. Then down here in source, I can choose. Um, I can I can write it directly in there what what needs to be the choices of my list, but that would be too complicated to edit in later on. So I click here that which allows me to go down and choose from my drop down list here, and then I'll simply just mark the uh, the cells that I want to be able to choose from. And note that I only mark to the to and including the the empty space, the empty cell here at the bottom. Then I click up here at the small icon again. I click OK, and whoop! Now I have my drop down list. So I can choose anything here from my drop down list. And when I do, we can see from the previous setting that my uh, numbering works. If I choose something from the next one, let's see here, it continues, it works. I can also choose uh, here to put a response. Oh, I didn't put that one yet. Well, let's do that in a bit. If I want to, if I want to not use my mouse, but just mouse, but just use my keyboard uh, to choose here, I hold the Alt button and I click arrow down, and then I with the I uh, uh, release the Alt button and then with the arrows I can move up and down, and with um, the Enter button I can choose. Okay, now I want to be able to do the same thing for the column here with responsible. So I can choose who's responsible for what action. So I mark the column, click on data validation, I choose list, I choose here uh, the small icon, go to the drop down list, I mark my the data that I want to put in here, I click OK, and I do the same for status. Here, data validation, choose list choose where, what it is that the content should be, and back, and OK. And now you can see I can put Dave, assign Dave to this task. I can assign Diana to this one. I can assign Anne for this one. And I can even say over here if it's identified or not. Okay. So these are the, th the different choices that I have. So this is how this is how you can make a drop-down list for your uh, sheets. This was it for uh, now, guys. So uh, good luck on working with your Excels, and see you up next time. Enjoy your day.